Welcome back everyone. In the last video, we discussed how to check if two things are equal or not. In this video, we will be learning how to check if one number is more than or less than another number. We have already learned about this in math, but we can do this in Python too. Let's see an example. Let's print if 8, if the number 8 is greater than the number 5. Let's print this or let's run this and we see true. So what we are doing here is checking if 8 is a bigger number than 5. And since 8 is a bigger number than 5, the output is true on the terminal. Now, in the previous video, we saw that checking if two things are equal will either print true or false on the terminal. Similarly, if one number is bigger than another number, it will say true on the terminal, which means that it is correct. This symbol checks if one number is more than another number. You can use it by pressing the shift key and the full stop key on your keyboard at the same time. But what will happen if we flip these two numbers? Let's print if 5 is a bigger number than 8. And let's run this. Well, of course, 5 is not a bigger number than 8. So this will say false on the terminal, which means that this condition, this operation is not correct. And by now, you probably know how to do the exact same thing using variables. Let's create two variables. One variable is called x and we store the number 12 inside of it. One variable is called y and we store the number 7 inside of it. Now let's print if x is a bigger number than y and as you can see it prints true. This is because we are storing the number 12 inside the variable x and we are storing the number 7 inside the variable y. And then we are printing if the number stored in the variable x is a bigger number than the number stored in the variable y. Of course, you must remember that we do not put quotation marks around numbers, but we only do that for strings. Anyways, it's now time for a short question. You want to check if your age is bigger than your friend's age. You have a variable that is called my age and you have a variable called friend's age. What will the following code print if the input for the friend age variable is the number 16? The correct answer is option D, false. This is because the my age variable stores the number 15 and the input for the friend age variable is the number 16. In this code, we are checking if the my age variable is larger than the friend age variable. But because the number 15 is not bigger than 16, it prints false on the terminal. We can also do the opposite of this. What if we want to check if a number is smaller than another number? Now let me clear all of the code that we have written here so far. And let me print if the number 3 is less than the number 7. That is what we're checking here. And we are printing the result of that. So let's print or let's run this. And as you can see, we see true on the terminal. Why is this? Well, it's because the number 3 is a smaller number than the number 7. And we are using a different operator this time. Now let's try and do the opposite. So here instead of 3, I will write 7. And here instead of 7, I will write 3. So we have flipped the numbers around. Let's run this and see what happens. Well, here we see false on the terminal. Since 7 is not a smaller number than 3, we see false because this is just not correct. Also to create this sign from your keyboard, you have to press the shift key and the comma key together. Now here's something a little bit more advanced. We can also check if some number is either bigger than or equal to another number. For example, let's say that you want to make biryani for your family dinner. You need two cups of rice to do this. At home, you know that you have three cups of rice available. Using Python, you want to make sure you have enough rice to make biryani. So let's create some variables for this. Let's first create a variable called rice needed. 
this variable will store the amount of rice that we need to make biryani so we will store the number 2 in this this means that we need 2 cups to make our biryani let's create another variable called rice at home this variable will store the amount of rice that we already have at home so let's assume that we have 3 cups of rice at home so we store the number 3 inside this variable now we can print if the rice that we have at home is greater than meaning is it bigger than or equal to the rice that we need let's run this and see what happens we see true on the terminal here what we are doing is making sure that the rice we already have at home is either more than or exactly equal to the amount of rice that you need to make biryani now let's change the code a bit but this time let's say that you have the perfect amount of rice so let's make rice at home equal to 2 so let's say that we need 2 cups of rice to make biryani and let's say that we have exactly 2 cups of rice at home and let's print this and see what happens this also shows true on the terminal this is because the rice that you have at home is now exactly equal to the rice that you need to make biryani instead if we only check that the rice at home is more than the rice needed it would not be correct let's change this and see what happens that instead of typing this sign and then an equal sign let's just remove this equal sign and run the code and now we see false here in our code we have exactly enough rice to make biryani however python is printing false because it will only print true when we have more than what we need when the rice at home variable stores the number 2 and if that number is greater than the rice that we need but since the rice at home variable stores the number 2 and the rice needed variable stores the number 2 this variable is not greater than this variable so it prints false now we can also do the opposite to check if a number is either smaller than or the same as another number for example we can check if the amount of rice needed to make biryani is smaller than or the same as the amount of rice we have at home let's change our code just a little bit let's say that we have 2 cups of rice that we need to make biryani and we have 3 cups of rice at home this time we will print if the rice that we need is either less than or equal to the rice that we have at home and let's print this and see what happens well we see true on the terminal why is this well it's because the number 2 is less than the number 3 now we are first checking over here if the rice needed variable is less than the rice at home variable the number that we store in the rice needed variable is 2 and the number that we store in the rice at home variable is 3 and we are checking if the rice needed variable is less than or equal to the rice at home variable and because 2 is less than 3 we see true on the terminal okay now let's try reducing the rice at home to just 2 cups like this and let's run this again here we again see true why is this well it's because the numbers that we store in both of the variables are equal now and we are just checking if this first variable which is the rice that we need is either less than or equal to the rice that we already have at home now because both of these variables are actually equal it will still print true because we check if it is either less than or equal to the rice at home now let's have one final question for today you are baking a cake that needs two or more eggs you have a variable called eggs which stores the number of eggs you already have at home what will the following code print the answer is option c true we have a variable called eggs we store the number 2 inside this variable 
then we check to see if the value of x is more than or exactly equal to the number 2 since the number 2 is equal to the number 2 the code shows true on the terminal all right that's it for today thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video